If you're in slow tanks and make no mistake, you've come to the right place. Just give to Neil the time to straight up blow your mind with a new show of joy and a blank. Hey, 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 everyone! It's been a while since we talked about Star Clan battles, but it's time to dive back into it. Last time I drew all of Wind Clan and told you all a little bit about each cat and their role in the clan. And since you guys have been asking me questions over on my Tumblr about the characters and asking below if I plan to do this for the other clans as well, and as you can probably see by the title of this video, I am indeed doing all of the clans. Between Morwen and I, we've actually gotten all four clans finished. Morwen tackled Thunder Clan and River Clan. And I just finished Shadow Clan. You should definitely go check out Morwen's charts. There will be a link below. Like in the Wind Clan chart, I'm going to go about this as if it was an allegiance. So we'll start with the Leader, Deputy, Medicine Cat, and then Senior Warriors, and go down in age until we get to the Apprentices, Queens, Kits, and then Elders. Starting with the Leader of Shadow Clan, we have the strong and wise Hawkstar. One of the oldest leaders of the lake, Hawkstar is known for mending the relationship between ShadowClan and ThunderClan. Her and Elmstar saved their warriors from continuing their unnecessary rivalry, and the border between the two clans has stayed peaceful during their rule as leaders. When Hawkstar was a young warrior, her name was Shelfer, and a hawk swooped into camp and tried to carry off a kit. Shelfer noticed the hawk and tackled the bird, saving the kit and killing the bird of prey, but the hawk took her left eye. The young warrior was confined to the medicine den for a while, and ShadowClan thought her days as a warrior might be over. But Shelfer refused to stop her warrior duties and learned to live without one of her eyes. Everyone was so impressed with Hawkstar's heroic actions and her perseverance that the ShadowClan leader at the time renamed her Hawkshell. Hawkshell continued to serve her clan as a warrior, then deputy, and then of course, as ShadowClan's leader. A heroic and aggressive peacekeeper, Hawkstar is a beloved leader around the lake and a thorn in the side of RiverClan's cunning leader, Rainstar. Next up is ShadowClan's deputy, Leafstorm. A fairly young deputy, Leafstorm is still trying to figure out how best to help Hawkstar. Hawkstar believes in her deputy to take her place one day, and Leafstorm is terrified she won't be able to fill the hole Hawkstar leaves behind. ShadowClan's warriors can sense Leafstorm's inner turmoil, but they're rooting for her. After all, if Hawkstar believes in her, and they believe in Hawkstar, then Leafstorm can do it! Leafstorm is a planner, and she's great at communicating with her clanmates, but sometimes her heart outthinks her head and gets the better of her. ShadowClan's medicine cat Small Pebble is just happy being a healer, and has been ShadowClan's sole medicine cat for a few moons now since the passing of her mentor. Although she's small and fluffy, Small Pebble has a tendency to appear without warning when she senses anyone in the clan needing her healing, startling most warriors when they suddenly find themselves being pushed into the medicine den to take some precautionary herbs to prevent illness. Her sisters, Blue Flower and Bird Flight, try to convince her that her ability to sense cats in need must be a gift from Star Clan, but Small Pebble just giggles at the notion and replies that she's just good at her job. ShadowClan has been blessed with many bountiful seasons under Hawkstar, and as a result, have many senior warriors who are still fit despite their age. One such warrior is Mousetail, the oldest of the senior warriors, but still looking forward to a few more seasons before joining his mate in the Elder's Den. Mousetail was born with a deformity that keeps the fur on his tail very short, and as he's gotten older, it's balded completely, giving him his namesake. Thoughtful and wise, Mousetail is a highly respected member of his clan. Indigo Eyes has been a dutiful and dependable warrior of ShadowClan for many seasons. Nearly everyone in the clan feels they can talk to Indigo Eyes about their troubles, and Indigo Eyes would listen and then offer advice. He takes his role as a warrior, mate, and mentor very seriously. He and his mate Kestrel Snap are some of Hawkstar's biggest supporters. They remember what ShadowClan was like before she made peace with ThunderClan, and how it's led ShadowClan to a bright future. Kestrel Snap is one of Hawkstar's closest friends. Stubborn and loyal to a fault, Kestrel Snap believes everything has its place, and everyone has their role. Kestrel Snap is a bit of a hard ass, but it generally comes from a good-natured place. 
She's looking out for the clans by keeping hot-headed young warriors in check and bringing up her kits on stories of Hawkstar's bravery and wisdom rather than bloody tales that litter ShadowClan's past. Sunfire is Hawkstar's son. Diplomatic and compassionate like his mother, Sunfire also has a bit of a rebellious streak. While Sunfire doesn't want war with the other clans, he does enjoy a good fight. Sunfire is even a bit of a show-off in battle, but humble and even a bit embarrassed of his fighting skills when talking to his clanmates. Sunfire and his best friend Breezeheart often patrol ShadowClan alone, keeping an eye on the borders and eagerly waiting for trouble. Breezeheart is the quiet but good-natured friend of Sunfire. Friends since they were kids, Breezeheart and Sunfire are rarely separated from each other. ShadowClan's trusty patrol guys. By himself, Breezeheart probably wouldn't get into so much trouble, but he just can't help but go along with Sunfire's plans. Crowstalker is Breezeheart's littermate, Blueflower's ex-mate, and currently in a bit of hot water for bringing two kits into the clan and claiming them to be his own, but not revealing the mother's name. A courageous but hot-tempered warrior, Crowstalker is quick to get in a fight even with his closest companions and can't seem to let go of a grudge. While a dependable warrior and a cat you can always count on to speak his mind and fight for what he believes in, not many in ShadowClan would really call him a friend. Crowstalker seems to have finally come to peace with this recently, though, and enjoys taking care of his kits, night kit and fog kit, even if it's from a bit of an uncomfortable distance. Blue Flower is a born mother. Always preferring the idea of raising kits rather than hunting and fighting, Blue Flower rushed into her first relationship with Crowstalker and had her first litter of kits. Blue Flower wasn't really interested in being a mate, though, and her and Crowstalker turned out not to be very compatible and ended things on a sour note. Blue Flower continued to try raising her kits as she had always wanted, but the bitterness of the separation left Blue Flower a bit hesitant towards her children, and as a result, Patchpaw and Wildfur were left to their own devices while Blue Flower tried to sort her feelings out. As she was coming to terms with everything, however, Patchpaw died, and many in the clan, including Blue Flower, blamed Wildfur for his brother's death. Secretly, though, Blue Flower also burned with guilt, and this guilt pushed her to briefly try to reach out to Wildfur, only for both cats to lash out at each other. Since then, Blue Flower's relationship with both Crowstalker and Wildfur has been distant. Blue Flower has grown a lot since then, though, and spending a lot of time in the nursery still, helping take care of other queen's kits. She still wants to try having kits again in the future, but this time Blue Flower is going to be patient and wait for the right time. Bird Flight is Blue Flower and Small Pebbles, sister, and a bit of a scatterbrain. Most cats can't help but smile at Bird Flight's antics. And she likes to cheer up cats with a bright smile. Boundless energy, a cheerful grin, and a laugh that can melt any ice-cold heart, Bird Flight is often the cat to break up any in-clan fighting or grudges. Tiger Stripe is a mean warrior with an itch for drama and fighting and a reckless attitude that borders on the masochistic. Hawkstar and Leafstorm hope to give Tiger Stripe purpose by having him train apprentices, but that backfired as Tiger Stripe dished out bitterness and resentfulness to the young cats he trained as well. Many in Shadow Clan are frustrated with Tiger Stripe's attitude, but also want to find a way to help the warrior be happy. One of these cats is Frost Shadow, a young she cat and Tiger Stripe's mate. When they're together, Tiger Stripe is less destructive and brash, and seems happier. But happiness that relies on the presence of another person is not the healthiest solution to Tiger Stripe's self-destructive nature. Snowstorm is an aloof and self-centered Shadow Clan Tom. An average warrior who doesn't feel the need to prove himself to anyone, including his ex-mate Mudtrail or his son Boulderpaw. Snowstorm is exactly the kind of cat who will somehow make every conversation about himself and every cat around him will just shake their heads and sigh as he continues to babble on. Falcon Swoop likes teasing her brother about his snobbish attitude. Falcon Swoop is one of Indigo Eyes and Kestrel Snap's children and looks up to her mother and father as role models. Friendly but a bit pushy, Falcon Swoop is always ready for a good time or a fight. Whichever seems more appropriate at the time. Wildfur is ShadowClan's loner. An outcast in the clan, Wildfur has shoved everyone in ShadowClan away as they simultaneously excluded him after the death of his brother Patchpaw. Many cats wonder why Wildfur hasn't left ShadowClan altogether 
or why Hawkstar hasn't exiled him. But Wildfur does perform his warrior duties in solitude, and Hawkstar hasn't given up on trying to make him a useful part of the clan. Wildfur is well aware of Hawkstar's meddling, and his bitterness towards Shadow Clan only grows. He knows that he's only welcome there as long as he's useful, and even when Wildfur is trying his best, he feels like a burden and an embarrassment. The pressure to fit into a home he doesn't feel like he belongs to has left Wildfur with a bitterness towards his clanmates and himself. Frost Shadow is the compassionate, see the good in everybody type, and Tiger Stripe's mate. Frost Shadow trained hard to become a warrior so Tiger Stripe and her could spend more time together, and she hopes that one day other cats will see what she sees in him. Other than that, Frost Shadow is close friends with nursery warriors like Blue Flower, Rose Thorn, and Shrew Belly, and while she doesn't want to become a nursery queen full time, Frost Shadow is looking forward to having her first litter of kits soon in the future. Cunning and powerful, Half Mask is a Shadow Clan warrior you don't want to cross. Respected by many cats in the clan for his battle prowess and tactical mind, Half Mask is on his way to becoming one of Shadow Clan's best warriors, even at such a young age. While Half Mask respects Hawkstar's leadership, he thinks Shadow Clan should be doing more against the River Clan cats pushing against their border and take the land that Thunder Clan sloppily marks at the other. Cats young and old in Shadow Clan find Half Mask's view of things refreshing and sometimes even wish he was Hawkstar's deputy instead of Leafstorm. Starkpath is the younger sister of Leafstorm and Shadow Clan's youngest warrior at the moment. A bit snarky and arrogant, Starkpath is a bit hard to get along with, but she is very protective of the cats younger than her and her heart is in the right place. Boulderpaw is Shadow Clan's oldest apprentice, and by all means should be a warrior by now. But Hawkstar keeps delaying his warrior ceremony due to his bad behavior and a general lack of respect Boulderpaw has for authority. The only cat Boulderpaw seems to listen to at all is Half Mask, his mentor and role model. After his parents Mudtrail and Snowstorm split up, Mudtrail became mates with Shrewbelly, a cat that Boulderpaw detests as a soft, meek excuse of a warrior. The only things Boulderpaw values is strength and power, and he can't understand why anyone would choose to achieve anything less. Redpaw is a moody apprentice and thinks of himself as friends with Boulderpaw. At least, it's better to think he's a friend rather than just a bully. Redpaw is nearly at the end of his apprenticeship and is eager to finally be a warrior of Shadow Clan and not have cats telling him what to do all the time. Deep down, Redpaw is actually pretty shy and sweet, but the tough guy act seems to get him harassed less by Boulderpaw and Half Mask, and Redpaw is all for not being picked on. Poolpaw and Icepaw are Shadow Clan's newest apprentices. Poolpaw was excited to become an apprentice until Hawkstar gave him Wildfur as his mentor. As Indigo Eyes and Kestrel Snap son, Poolpaw thought Hawkstar would maybe have thought a little better of him, maybe not given him preferential treatment, of course but Poolpaw can't think of a worse mentor to be stuck with. Poolpaw is also a very scrawny and small Tom, and he's self-conscious that the Shadow Clan warriors look down on him because of it. His sister Icepaw, on the other hand, got lucky and has Birdflight as her mentor. Icepaw is ready to begin her warrior duties and can't help but feel a little relieved she isn't in Poolpaw's place. Icepaw is feeling a bit superior to her little brother after this. Nightkit and Fogkit are pretty new additions to Shadow Clan, despite their age. Crowstalker brought them into Shadow Clan a few moons ago, but all they remember is life in Shadow Clan, so they don't really feel too different from everyone else. Except when some warriors give them hostile glares. Nightkit is a friendly and optimistic she cat, and her brother Fogkit is a grumpy and distrustful Tom. Two complete opposites, but the two get along well despite their differences. Shrewbelly is Shadow Clan's resident den dad, a nursery tom. Shrewbelly has always been more interested in caring for kits than he has in being a warrior. Despite Shrewbelly only recently having his own first kit with his mage Mudtrail, Shrewbelly has been one of the main cats caring for and raising kits in Shadow Clan for a long time. All the queens in Shadow Clan know they can trust Shrewbelly with their kits, and many warriors respect Shrewbelly as a sort of kithood mentor before they become apprentices. Lycankit is Shrewbelly's first son, but not Mudtrail's. Mudtrail used to be in a relationship with Snowstorm, but after Mudtrail realized how uninterested 
in having a family snowstorm was, and to be more specific, how uninterested in her he was. Mud Trail dropped Snowstorm like a piece of soggy prey and started raising Boulder Paw with Shrewbelly in the nursery. The two of them turned out to be a good match. Mud Trail is pretty casual and likes to pretend that she doesn't care about a lot of things, but she will admit that she loves the amount that Shrewbelly loves her and cares about everything. To someone who likes to play it cool and collected, Mud Trail finds Shrewbelly's enthusiasm a breath of fresh air. Rosethorn drifts between roles of nursery queen and elder. Rosethorn just kind of goes wherever she's needed most. Certainly old enough to be an elder, but still wanting to be active in clan life, Rosethorn will often comfort and aid sick kits and elders. And Small Pebble knows that she can count on Rosethorn to give cats the TLC they need to stay healthy and happy while she is off collecting and sorting herbs. Bramblefur is Shadow Clan's humble elder who is just so proud of his two daughters, Leafstorm and Stark Path, and enjoys spending his days bathing in the brief sunlight that gets filtered through the pine trees and into camp, and telling stories about his daughters to kids who stop by the elder's den. As a warrior, Bramblefur was still humble and quite shy, but after a while he learned to be comfortable with himself and made many good friends in Shadow Clan. Whitefire is Hawkstar's sister and biggest rival and supporter. When they were apprentices and young warriors, they fought and pushed each other constantly. When Hawkstar was half blinded, Whitefire was there to help her get back on her feet. When Hawkstar was deputy, Whitefire worked with her sister to try to stop the fighting between ThunderClan and ShadowClan. When Hawkstar became a leader, Whitefire was offered the deputy position and served for many moons as Hawkstar's second in command. But neither Hawkstar or Whitefire are as young as they used to be, and Whitefire was glad Hawkstar picked a successor like Leafstorm to take her place when she became an elder. Whitefire wishes her sister would get the chance to be an elder with her, but she knows that her sister will never let herself retire and will probably be ShadowClan's leader until the day she dies. But Whitefire respects that. We made it, folks! That's Shadow Clan! As you can see, it's a bit longer than the Wind Clan episode, but Shadow Clan has quite the full cast of characters. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and don't forget to check out the Thunder Clan and River Clan charts drawn by Morwen as well. I hope you all have a fantastic week, and remember to please stay inspired.